Hello everyone and welcome back to the iCode channel. Today I'm going to show you how to set up the iCode Duo device with the Stella standalone emulator for Atari 2600. Um, the standalone um, Stella can be downloaded from the Stella website. You can see here they've got Windows, Mac OS, Linux versions. Um, there's also builds of this available on many other uh, devices. This is not the RetroArch Libretro version. Uh, this is the standalone version. So I wanted to show you how to set this device up uh, to work with paddles as well as joysticks uh, with the Stella. So let's get started. So I've uh, downloaded Stella uh, 6.7 x64 for my Windows. I already installed it. And uh, once you install it, uh, you basically, it comes up to this menu, and then you can go to your game ROMs folder. Uh, I might happen to be here. I've downloaded a bunch of ROMs for the Atari 2600. Here they are. And today I wanted to show you how to set up Warlords with paddles for four players, as well as maybe Breakout. Those are two paddle games to make sure things are working on the device. Notice I've got four paddles here. Um, so my first port is my player one and player two. These are the two that are connected. Uh, player one is the top spinner. Like if you see, if I went out and move it left and right, the little um, icons here that are spinners on the top one spin. So that's player one is the top. Player two is the bottom. Player three is the top again on this side. And player four is on the bottom. It's best to have them in center position uh, uh, when you're uh, first setting up Stella, so I'm going to move them all to center position here, you know, roughly center, and uh, I think we're good to go around here. Okay, so once you've got that uh, centered, what you want to do is under Stella, um, go ahead and um, um, go to the options screen, and the first thing you want to do is go to input, and under input, uh, I'm going to push defaults here just so that everything's set back to normal uh, as, as if you downloaded it. And then same thing on mouse, I'm going to push it to defaults. This is typically how the, when you first install it, it's set up. Notice it's using mouse as a controller. So what we want to do is change this so it doesn't use the mouse as the analog controller because we want to use our paddles. I'm going to change this to never. And then the next thing we're going to do is go to event mappings. Under event mappings, we're gonna to go to paddles. And I'm gonna go ahead and you know push defaults here because it was that's how it was. And notice that it's got some uh, settings already. I personally like to just erase that. So this is player one. This is left paddle B is player two and right. Paddle A is player three, and then finally, if you scroll down, uh, right paddle B is player four. Now, left and right are a little bit the opposite of uh, you know what we have here. You know, for us, this is port one is uh, on the right side, but on the Stella it says left. So don't get confused by that. Just remember, this is player one, player two, uh, player two, um, player three, and player four are here. So we're going to go ahead and map our player one, which is starting from the top. And that's the analog. Um, notice I've erased it, so there's nothing there. And then I'm going to push map. And when I push map, I'm going to, it's going to wait for me to move this. And when I move this, it'll pick up uh, where it thinks it got uh, movement. And this is correct. Yours might say something a little bit different. That's fine. As long as it paused for you and you moved it and it did register. That's what you're going to be looking for. And then for paddle a fire, um, it's got something in here. I'm going to go ahead and erase it. And I'm going to push map. And then I'm going to push the fire button on player one. There it is. And then we'll go to player two analog. And I'm going to erase this one and push map. And then I'm going to move this one this time, and there it is, registered. Then for the fire button, I'm gonna erase and push map and press the button, here it is. And then we're going down to player three, same process. 
transfer the panel A analog. It's already none, but just in case, I'll push erase anyway. And then push map. I'm going to move it. It registered, and then I'm going to move it back to the center. And then fire. Um, it's got an F key. Erase that. And push map. And then I'm going to push the fire button. There it did. And then finally, for the fourth player, I'm going to go ahead and push erase. Then map. I'm going to move the dial. It did register. And then for fire, I'm going to erase and push map and push the fire button. So, so now you're, um, these are mapped. The next thing you want to do is go to, instead of paddles, go to console. Well, let's make sure our select and reset are mapped. Those are currently not mapped. They're currently connected keyboard only, F1 and F2 keys. So for select, we want to map this to the white button. Uh, right over here. I'm going to push map and I'm going to push the white button. So it's both the F1 key as well as the white button here. And then for reset, I'm going to go ahead and push map and push the black button. And now I think it's uh, ready to go. And then finally, you want to go to your devices and ports and change the sensitivity if it's set to 100%. Reduce that to around 50% because otherwise your mouse will be too sensitive to play. Uh, and I'm going to push OK and push Close. So now if I go ahead and start Warlords and push the Start key, which is this one. Notice my player, uh, player 1 is yellow. It's moving fine. Player two is blue. It's moving fine as well. Player three is green. And player four is purple. So it's working pretty nicely. Let's check uh, the buttons as well. We'll go ahead and try uh, maybe um, Breakout. I recently played it here. And I'm going to go to a four player game. We'll try the select key this way. I'm going to go to four players here. Then push play. Notice my player one is going to be red, and player three is the uh, the green person here. And we're going to push button. Okay. And then the other two players are up. So green is player two, and um, orange is player four. And let's test the button on player two. Yep, that's working as well. And then player three, it's working. And player four, it's working as well. Okay, I hope this was helpful for you all. Um, if you enjoyed this, please give me a thumbs up. And you can get these devices on iCode.com. And if you have any questions, feel free to comment below. Talk to you next time. Bye-bye.